Got my Fuji Digital and my Nikon film. And me and my brother are going to pull a beehive out of a house today and that, that ought to give me an opportunity to get a few good shots. What are you machining? Vaporizers, oxalic acid vaporizers. Uh, <laughs> I almost forgot to update you on the progress of the day. We're making progress. We just got through with lunch. <laughs> yeah, we've been sitting at Wing King talking for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> talking and eating. So now we're on the way looking for that beehive. Hill again. I hope it's on the hope it's on the uphill side. That's pretty much flat. Hey, hey how are you? Good. Yeah, we'll just we're gonna just back this truck right there so we can get just get tools in and out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if there's anything that I need to move, can I move your bird bath? Yeah, I'll sure. get it. I'll get it. Okay. Yeah, I knew where my cross was, but I also had another little deal out here, but it's gone, so. Well, if we find it covered in pine straw, we'll <laughs> set it aside somewhere. Well, I brought work platforms, so we about uh, 11 foot up for this I tell one. you what, they've been busy. <laughs> That's a little ways up there. Looks like they're in the lower soffit, though, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, they don't go in the upper. Yeah. Ain't that what, what they call it? Hook tool for vinyl side. No, it's not called J hook. There you go. Much eyes. Good. There's a bunch of trash there. Yeah, I see third dollar nest. Might have to eat, move the ladder a little bit. Inside there it is. Yeah, I figured it'd be on top of that thing. Thing is pulling off there. But it shows what I know. Pop it. Just like some dry cone. <laughs> Looks like a good little group clustered up together. They're starting to pack some nectar in there. Starting to. Still a little liquid. Yeah, it is kind of pricey. Boy, you talking about some? There's your honey. Uh huh. Ain't much of it, but it's uh, nectar. Yeah. You wanna try it? Not bad, huh? Yeah, good stuff. That walk on. You got this piece off without tearing it off. Yeah. That means we should be able to put everything back just like it looked before we got started. That's good. Nobody wants to bring a 
truckload of metal and a, and a brake to fix this piece right here. Mm -mm. And then it don't match. These leave a pheromone when they sting. Yeah. So I'm just smoking <laughs> in the back of my head to cover up its scent. Hope I didn't sing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Your head's smoking. <laughs> yeah. I'm on fire. A spit hot fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we take the bees. No, we take them all. That's what the hose is for. We got a a vacuum we'll pick them all up with. Get some pollen here. Bees on that one. Get the box and spring. You want to frame it? Not gonna be a whole lot to frame, it'll look like. Mm -mm. I'll frame it up if you want to. Yeah, frame it up. All right. We got Tommy's Generation One Everything BVAC. This is the hose that they came with previously. The Gen One hose. I got the new and improved custom built hoses that are available through allmybees.com now. Got a swivel end on both ends of it custom made uh, I ordered a special length I'm sure you probably can too just have to get with Tony might cost you a few extra dollars but if you want a little extra length on it you can get it and this is the, <laughs> this is this is Tommy's generation 0. 0.5 <laughs> 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 yeah. so we're gonna throw this back in the truck brood is there a queen on there or you just got brood? Uh, there's brood right here. Looks like a bunch more brood up top. I think so. That's a framer. Yeah. This one another little piece. A little bit of green pile in there. Yep. Got some eggs on this side. Horseshoe comb. Mm -hmm. Let's put this other piece on. It's all tied up in the rafters. I can't even see what I'm doing hardly. They got brood or just honey? Just honey. They got another knife over there, dude. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's a nice piece. Is that another one up in there that big? Yeah. Look at the green pollen at the top right in the cells. Oh, yeah. They're harvesting lucky charms. <laughs> I'm 
don't see no queen on there. What about the queen? You have to find her? Yeah, hopefully we'll find her. I don't know if we will, but we're hoping for it. Another rubber band? Yeah. It's an old rubber band. Must be last year's model. <laughs> rubber bands are kind of dry. They are. They're real dry. When they snap and pop me in the face here in a minute, I'll let you know how dry they are. <laughs> here, I just I sell it from my, from my Allstate office. <laughs> hey, that was the plan. There ain't enough bees here to do it, though. Yeah, there is. You got enough up in the soffit? Yeah. We need to. This is our first cut out of 2019. Starting right now. Starting on this hive. We're going to start doing mite checks on all the feral colonies. So this one right here will be contestant number one in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Are we still in Hattiesburg? Yeah. Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We're going to put a couple bees in here. And, uh... We'll check them later on. I didn't bring any alcohol with us. I don't know if I can, I'm not gonna be able to get this up in here and scrape them. All right. There's enough on this comb down here. I can get them off of this well, comb. I mean, there's plenty of bees up in here. I just, there ain't enough room to get this in between the rafters. All right, we'll get them so, some, we'll get them somehow. We'll get them later. Once we, once we get the brood combs cut out, then we'll take them off in the box. All right. But no, I was going to tell you about the wax. My wife's grandmother gave me a book years ago. Mm -hmm. It was written in the 19 teens or 1920s by a doctor. And he was talking about allergies. And um, so the book was telling, the, the doctor said, when you eat honey, mm -hmm. you should eat the comb also for your sinuses or allergies. I'm going to give that to him for sure. <laughs> He's going to fix Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's interesting. So, anyway. Something I put my hand back. I put my hand back. <laughs> bees in my head. <laughs> I got bees in my head. Another tight spot. Another, not a, not a super difficult removal. Just kind of tight to get up in there. Here, so I'm, I'm missing about three inches of it. I ain't been able to see or get to so far. We've been here for about an hour and 45, maybe two hours on a downhill right now. Looks like he's got two big pieces of brood comb left. I'm kind of being the, the ground man, framing comb and getting tools. Um, nice temperature out here. It's probably 65, something like that. Ain't broke a sweat yet. I don't know what's up. Yes, ma'am.
No. Nope. You got another frame over there. Mm-hmm. Coming into the home stretch now, all he's got to scrape the little bits of comb out. You collect the rest of the bees. There's about two or three hundred over here on his outside corner hiding out. Right there. We haven't found the queen yet. She might be up in that bunch right there. If she's not, I hope she, so. If she's not, she's already in the vac because there ain't nothing left up in the soffit. Up in there. Another piece. It's just a little, about one inch by six inches. That I can't see. I'm just having to get it blind. There it went. <laughs> Actually, I asked you if they were coming out, but. Yeah, they're coming out. <laughs> I want to go knock on their door and ask them if their house ain't filling up with smoke. Because <laughs> there ain't much smoke coming out of there. But yeah, the bees are coming out. They're piling up on the edges of the soffit out here. They're piling up on me too. Yeah. They're settling down pretty fast. This cold weather has got them wanting to go back inside. Tell me what your secret is for not getting stung. I'm tough. <laughs> Tell me what the, what the real secret is. It's the orange shirt. Yeah, yeah. orange shirt. <laughs> I may not believe it. You laugh at me, but... Oh, uh, Yappy believes it. Does he? Yeah. Been stung. You got one under your arm. Yeah. I've been stung one, two, one, two, three, four, five times. So one of my secrets is I just smoke myself real good before I go in. <laughs> and then try to be as gentle as I can. <laughs> you gotta smoke yourself real good. <laughs> It's all high beetle. That's it. <laughs> I got some bigger roofing nails you can put in it. <laughs> some big button caps. Like it never even happened. Boom. Hey, where was the hive at again? <laughs> On the hive. <laughs> there it is. Done and done. Appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> Cover with honey. Yeah, video trying to get this bucket off here because my hands are slippery. <laughs> yeah. oh, Should have just left them. Now we got to make sure we don't scoop the queen up. Yeah, good luck with that because I don't know where she's at. I look like about enough. A little more. Flick them off the outside of the cup. <clears throat> huh? Flick the ones off the outside of the cup. Is that good? All right, just drop it in. It is not focusing at all. It may be this screen. Turn around, let me see. Yes, yeah, folks. Yeah. This is 
<laughs> what was that? I don't know. I gotta shake this for 60 seconds and then we're gonna check for mites. We're gonna have to take it inside and dump it where we can see them in the daylight. In the no, light. we ain't gotta dump it. Check the bottom of the cup. Okay. That's what the clear cup's for. Okay. I read the instructions. What? <laughs> Are you telling these people you can read? Reading's fundamental, people. I hope you're gonna edit some of this shaking time. Out. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Just some cheap rubbing alcohol. Agitate for a minute. Turn it upside down and check your mite load on the in the bottom of the cup. Yeah, we got mites. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About twelve per about three hundred bees. That ain't bad at all. That's on a feral colony. Today is February eighth. Eighth. And first first removal of the year. I'm gonna start checking all the colonies and swarms we removed this year and tracking where they are and what the mite load is on them. That alcohol is slippery. Pretty good. It's up under the truck. I have to move. It's right here. <laughs> 